Hey guys, and welcome to Hot Mess Mama. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Mama on the Go. Um, I literally am getting ready to go run errands with my son. So this is my, my go-to look, just so I don't go completely crazy looking. Um, it's just a little bit of bronzing, a little bit of eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara. Throw on some lips and there you go. Um, it can be definitely something that um, is incorporated into like going to work. This is what I used to go to work like every day. <laughs> um, just because I, um, you know, it just it was that easy. So if you're going to, a, if you're going for a, or needing a super simple look, um, this would be it, I would say. Um, I will list the products below so you can check those out. Um, and I'm super, super excited. I did my first one-on-one um, -on -one walkthrough over the weekend with my friend Kelly. And- Kelly! <sighs> yes, Kelly, son. Um, and you can see the her before and afters on um, on my blog, hotmessmama.com. Please check out, um, I'm, you know, Hot Mess Mama is on a bunch of different social media. I'll list those below in the comments as well. And um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next. And I hope you all enjoy. All right, have a great day. Hey guys, so we're gonna get started. Um, right now, the only thing on my face is my Clinique moisturizer. I'm not gonna put a primer on. Um, I'm just going to, because my moisturizer somewhat acts like as a primer. I got my concealer. Um, you know, I still haven't found a 100% love this concealer. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, but today I am using my Maybelline Fit. And even though I don't really 100% like this for under my eyes, um, I do love it for covering up the acne flare-ups that I get. So like my constellations system on my forehead um, and the two mountains I have currently on the side of my face. So I'm just going to um, dab it on the section. I let it dry just a little bit. Basically any red spots that I have this works awesome it the coverage is so sheer and it like blends right in to your skin tone and it's not even like necessarily just my skin tone this is in what in light and it works really well um, I used it on my mother-in-law just this last week um, and she has more of a like a, a redder and more tan, naturally tan skin tone. And then I used it on my, just my friend Kelly over the weekend and she has a lighter complexion. So it really blends really, really well. I really like it. So I put that on, I'm in no rush to blend it in and I'm not using a, a brush or a sponge or anything. I'm just gonna use my, my ring finger and just, you're just gonna pat it in. After you have your concealer blended in on all over the fun spots, um, I'm gonna go in under my dark circles and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'll go in and blend it. Okay, again, go in with your ring finger and blend. Can you guys see? This is a really good concealer to use. Um, when I use this for under my eyes, I do it in two layers. So you can really build it up if you need some extra coverage. So now that that's on, I'm just gonna do it again. 
but focus more on just the, the crease right here that is giving broadcasting more of the dark circle. Okay, let that dry just a little bit again. So you can tell that by going back a second time, it has helped brighten that area up. Blend the rest of that out that's on my finger. All right, now I'm going to grab my, um, I'm not gonna do a whole, like a big highlighting and contouring, um, but I am gonna highlight just a little bit just because that helps um, open, you know, your eyes. Okay, so you're just gonna do the triangle, you're gonna go along your nose, go up, make an upside down triangle. This product is awesome, number one. Number two, it is totally something that if you get this on and then you have to go like run and do something like change a diaper or grab you know a drink for your kid whatever um, it's actually good to let this stay on for a little bit before you blend it in and I'm actually gonna get my beauty blender to blend this in well my knockoff beauty blender I do a little bit on my nose um, but I'm not gonna do the full triangle up here all that stuff so it's just just right here I'm just going to run some errands come on all right sit again all right now you're gonna get your beauty blender gonna blend it out you want your beauty blender to be damp if it's not damp it's basically just gonna pick up the product that you put on your face. So you want it to be damp because it really just blends it out so much better and helps it sit on the face a lot better than if you were to just use a brush or your finger or whatever. I'm just gonna do the same on my nose. Or not okay um, so now I'm gonna go in with my lighter shade of powder from covergirl and this brush and I'm going to just do it on the spots that I highlighted okay now that we have that on I'm gonna just go back with my darker this is cover oil again but a medium light and I'm going to go ahead and do this on the rest of my face I am gonna use a little bit of bronzer just because I'm super pale and this is the Wet n Wild Fergie in the color Rose Golden Goddess. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I mean, where I would contour, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm just going around the frame of my face. I'm gonna blend this out so, you know. I will do a little bit on the sides of my nose. Basically where I would take my darker color and contour is where I'm using this. Oh my gosh, my allergies are annoying. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna have this brush, Eco Tools brush. Um, I'm just gonna blend it in on my face. And you can see that that like just warms up. 
the rest of my face by doing the frame. Okay. Have that. You can see that it's like brighter right here. I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is from Ulta. Got my free bag. Free, free money. Just the pink side, and that's the color Splendor. So, start on it. Okay, done with that. I don't know about anybody else, but after I'm done using a product, I hate having it sit on my counter still. So, excuse me while I kind of clear out the area. Clutter. Clutter, clutter, clutter. I haven't used that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna blend in this just a little bit. And now I have a little bit of a highlight, shimmer-ish, um, and this is the Wet n Wild Fergie in Rose Champagne Glow. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this on my cheekbone. Now to set it, I'm gonna use my NYX Finishing Powder, HD Finishing Powder. And I'm just gonna pat it in. If you've never used a finishing powder, this is my first finishing powder, by the way. Um, if you've never used a finishing powder, um, number one, I didn't want—I like did not want to spend a bunch of money on a finishing powder because so many different brands make it, and I really, really wanted the finishing powder made by. Yeah, tart. Um, oh my gosh. It was when I went into Ulta and I tried it out. The lady was like, it's really smooth. And I was like, oh, okay. And I like, no joke, put it on and then like rub my finger over it. And I was like, I feel like a porcelain doll. Um, but it was $25 and I was like, oh, cannot do that. So this is the NYX HD finishing powder and I'm testing it out. Um, it's like eight bucks or something. I just could not bring myself to do that. So, not saying that it's not better, but I'm saying that I can't afford that. So, all right, got that done. It's just gonna set it, it's gonna feel smoother, kind of fill in the, the pores. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to my eyes, and I, I, you'll probably hear this over and over and over and over and over. In my videos um the color tattoo metal love this stuff for eye primer barely branded so if i'm not wearing anything else which today i'm not wearing anything else i'm just wearing this and i'm gonna put a shimmer over it and that's my eye look um outside of like my eyeliner and mascara um this helps you look awake it helps you look like your eyes are more open it it's just awesome stuff so yes i'm using this all over see look at that i haven't had my coffee this morning yet totally taking a risk by filming this with no caffeine but I haven't left the house yet, and on the weekends I like to go treat myself to Starbucks because during the week I literally don't leave like ever from my house since I work from home. So, all right, so there is my eyes. You can tell I went all over the eyelid, under the brow, and even um, under my lash line on the bottom just a little bit. Got a fluffy brush using my all-time favorite shimmer. Um, a good substitute for this is this. Or so I think. I haven't, I mean, I just luckily like bring in across this. And this is the Color Pure Eyeshadow by Ulta in the color YOLO. So that would be something it still is not like the exact same as the shimmer that I absolutely love with my whole life. Um, but, you know, 
for what I have not found anything else. So, and I am just putting this all over my lid too. So the good thing about doing just like a look like this is that if you do something later, you can go back with other shades and stuff like that and blend it over your eye. Okay, so got my eyeliner that I'm gonna use. Now the true test is if you can get this side to look like this side. -da -da, or this side to look like this side. Did I say that right? Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Dun dun dun. So. Encouraging, right? Now, literally just mascara. I'm not gonna do anything under my eyes. Mascara, okay, so get your eyelash curler. To do it five times, then go back in a little closer three times. Okay. Primer, thousand lashes, heart candy, what, what? For real, if you have not tried this stuff, it's amazing. I'm not doing any eyeliner on the bottom. I am gonna use my primer on the bottom too, just to further define my eyes a little bit more with my mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara. I only do the top with my first mascara that I use. There's my first coat. I'll do a second coat with the same mascara. I'll look quicker though. The first one, like I'm really like trying to get it in there. Okay, done with that. So my second mascara is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Dun, dun. Whew. Yeah. Okay, now the bottom. Now I'm gonna just do a little something on my lips, just a nude color. This is the Revlon Color Stay in Natural. Natural. Okay, there's that. Okay, and this is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Blushing Beige. Okay, this is just Victoria's Secret Shine Kiss Flavored Gloss in Candy Baby. Swipe, swipe. There you go. There you have it. Take my bobby pin out. And guess my hair's supposed to look like this. I don't know. It's kind of like a wavy. Um. So yeah, this is this is a simple look. This is how I basically used to do my makeup every day for work. Um. Just because it's super simple to put on some, some eyeshadow that's gonna help open up and brighten your eyes. 
and then you got your eyeliner and mascara and it's I mean I love this look it's it's a super natural look and like I said it's so easy to take from daytime to nighttime um I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and definitely leave comments below let me know what you think and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already if this is your first time visiting hot mess mama hello welcome um, so glad to have you um, but yeah I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you next time. Bye!